welcome to my channel and today I am going to be doing my August book haul. Now August has been a big book month for me, I've bought quite a few books. This is the month I found out about Book Depository so I haven't bought loads of books from there but I do have a huge wish list and I might buy about two books a month from there. But first I'm going to start with all the books I got from Waterstones. I didn't get all of these at once, they were spread throughout the month but let's get started. The first book I bought was the BFG by Will Dahl. I have loved the BFG since I was a child and when I heard that Waterstones was doing a special edition due to the film coming out, I just had to buy it. I mean, just look at how pretty this is. It's all blue with the gold. Then there's the big quote on the back. We is in dream country. This is where all dreams is beginning. I, I just love that quote and it's such a pretty book and I thought, I need to have this exclusive edition just for my bookcase and hopefully maybe in the future they might bring out some matching covers for the other books which I think will be really cool because I would like to get all of Will Dahl's books again because I do miss reading them. The next book I got was The Red Queen by Christina Henry. Now this is the sequel to Alice, the book that I am currently reading and I am loving it. So as soon as I finish Alice, I'll be reading The Red Queen. This series is a modern retelling of Alice in Wonderland as you could probably guess. And um, from reading it, it is quite a disturbing retelling, it's quite in the horror genre, but it is so good. Alice is basically trapped in an asylum, she meets a guy called Hatcher, and they break out when the asylum sets on fire. They then go in search of the Jabberwocky, and it turns out that some things aren't as they seem. Most of the main characters, like the butterfly, the caterpillar, all end up being leaders of gangs in the old city, so the caterpillar, he basically runs a brothel, but it's a very disturbing brothel. The cat deals with secrets and it is very disturbing. I don't want to give anything away, but you just have to give it a go if you love modern retellings of fairy tale. The next book I got was another retelling of Alice in Wonderland and this is After Alice by Gregory Maguire. Now I first bought this book because I am a huge fan of the Wicked series, which she wrote quite a while back. And again, I just love modern retellings of fairy tales, as I just said. Um, this book, it, it was okay. It basically follows Alice's best friend as she follows Alice down to Wonderland. And it also follows Alice's sister up in the real world and what's happening when she's looking for Alice. It is quite interesting, but it's probably not one of my favourite retellings. The next book I got is a book that I've been wanting for quite a while and I haven't read it yet. It's The Museum of You by Carrie's Bray, if I pronounce that right. But um, I saw this on YouTube quite a while ago and it seems to be quite an interesting concept. Basically, a girl has lost a mother and she's trying to find out more about her. So she creates a little museum of all the pieces about her. I've heard that it is quite emotional and I just wanted to give it a go. And it's such a pretty cover as well. One thing you've probably noticed about me is I tend to buy books because they look pretty. If it's got a pretty cover and it sounds interesting, I will definitely buy it. And then the next book is another book I heard about on YouTube and that's Eleanor. And this is by Jason Gurney. I hope again I've pronounced that right. And again, just look at how pretty the cover is. Now the cover I've normally seen on YouTube, they've got two watercolour eyes and they're crying. But then I just saw this in Waterstones and I thought, oh my god, this is so much prettier. It's like a watercolour of a girl and you can see the forest up here. And again, on the spine, we've got the forest. And it just looks so pretty. Um, I don't know much about it. I believe it's about two twins and one of them gets killed by drowning. And it follows the girl and the mother as they grow up. Um, again, I think it's quite an emotional book. Obviously, if like twins and one dies, it's definitely going to be emotional. But I'm definitely going to try and read this next month. Now the next two books I got from my first Illuminicrate. The first one is The Graces by Laurie Eve. Now I've read this book and I really liked it, which I didn't expect. This book basically is about a family called the Graces who everyone believes are witches. I thought I wouldn't like it because I thought it would basically just be about a girl trying to fit in and then everyone will just turn their backs on her at the end. It was a bit like that at first but then you get to find out more about the Graces, more about the main character River and it is quite exciting. Stuff happens in it that I didn't expect and you have a revelation about River again which I didn't expect and I think I will definitely be buying the sequel because I think this is going to be a trilogy, I'm not too sure but this isn't out until September so I do recommend you go out and buy it because it is pretty good especially if you are someone who likes magic and you think magic is real it gives you a good insight to that. The next book I got in my Illuminicrate box was Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. Again I have read this and oh 
my god, it was amazing. You need to read this book. It's about a girl called Mia who when she's young, basically her father gets killed and her mother gets imprisoned. And she spends all her life training to be assassin so she can kill both people who killed her father and imprisoned her mother. And the story is just amazing. I fell in love with the characters. There was twists and turns. I did not expect one of them. Oh my god, if you just read the book I need to speak to someone about it. Everyone will know the big twist and the death as well. It's just like, oh my god, I need the sequel now. And again, just look at the pretty cover. Again, in the Lumi Crate box, I didn't think I'd like it. I was like, oh, look, there's a heart back. It looks pretty. Then I read it and I thought, hmm, will I enjoy it? But in the end, I think it's one of the best books I've read this year. And I really need the sequel now. Please, I don't want to wait a year or even more if I have to. But yeah, just read this book, Never Night by Jay Kristoff. It is amazing. Now we are on to my last two books I got this month. And these two are the books that I got from Book Depository. The first book I got was The Six of Crows. And this is by the Baduko. Is that pronounced right? I'm not too sure. Um, the main reason why I got this book is because everyone on booktube has been raving about it, they've been seeing how amazing it was. Everyone on YouTube has been raving about this book and again on Tumblr he has quite a big fandom on the book community side. Everyone's revolving pretty pictures and pretty mood boards of it and it does sound pretty interesting. I'm not 100% sure what it's about. All I know is that it, it involves six misfits who try and pull off an impossible heist. Now I do love heisty kinds of books, if that makes sense, so I thought I'd give it a go and I have also pre-ordered the sequel that's coming out in September. I could have bought this from Waterstones but I really wanted the hardback edition and this hardback is really pretty with the black pages as well. So that's also why I pre-ordered the other book from Book Depository just because this book is going straight to paperback in the UK. Which is one thing that really annoys me, a lot of YA novels in the UK go straight to paperback. Why don't the UK get the nice hardbacks like the US and basically everywhere else? I can't wait to give this read. Again, I will hopefully re read it next month. Or I might wait until I get the sequel just so I can read them straight after each other. Because that is one thing I do like doing. And the last book I got wasn't for myself. My boyfriend is a big fan of the Iron Number 4 series by Pitika's Law. And he's looking for the last two books. That's The Fate of Ten and the last book is United as One. Now I managed to find United as One on Book Depository. Again, he likes them in hardback so we didn't get it from Waterstones. Um, we are still looking for The Fate of Ten in hardback and I am putting a question out there for everyone. Does anyone know where I could get it in hardback? I have looked on Book Depository, I have looked on Amazon, I have looked on eBay. He's also looking for I Am Number 4 in hardback, just because the only edition he has is the one that came out when the film did, and now he wants them all in hardback. Personally, I want them all in hardback, because I think I might pop them on my bookshelves. I have no books of my boyfriend on my bookshelf. All these books behind me are all mine, but I think he deserves a place, just because he has the whole series of I Am Number 4. Not quite sure what the series is called. But yeah, if you know anywhere where I, where I can find them, could you please comment below? Just because I do want to maybe surprise my boyfriend with them, but maybe for Christmas, so when we go down to London in October. I think that would be pretty cool. But yeah, that's it for my first book haul. Um, I think I did pretty well this month. I am trying to buy less books, just because we are now saving up for a house and we have our trip to London in October where we're going to the Harry Potter studio, so I am saving up my money to go on a spending spree there. I will see you soon when I will be doing my August wrap up, which um, I haven't read as much as I wanted to this month, but it'll be my first wrap up on YouTube. Yay! See you later, and as usual, feel free to follow me on Tumblr, Twitter and Instagram, and Goodreads down below. See ya!